Hey guys, today is going to be a more Japanese language learning kind of episode. If you ever struggled with learning hiragana or katakana, sit tight and watch this video. So, if any of you Many of you probably watching this who are non Japanese probably already know that if you want to learn Japanese, you have to learn first the writing system of that is hiragana and katakana, collectively known as kana. There are a couple of ways to do this. I learned it through a wonderful textbook series called Japanese from Zero by George Trombley, I think is how he pronounces his name. This is a this is a progressive textbook, meaning that it teaches you he hiragana characters first. Um, then it goes through a lesson using the few hiragana characters it just taught you. Then the next lesson it teaches you more, and then it uses those, and then it just replaces romaji with characters you should know uh, progressively throughout the book, which I think is a fantastic way of learning hiragana. Its next book, Japanese from Zero Two, teaches katakana, and then Japanese from Zero Three goes on to teach some kanji. Now, George Trombley's Japanese from Zero series also has a textbook specifically for learning just kana. Um, it looks great, I've never actually bought it, but it seems to be in the same exact style as his other textbooks that I do have, and that probably means it's going to be good. He also does have some other textbooks dedicated to just hiragana and just katakana. Um, those, I probably wouldn't spend my money on those, I would just spend my money on his kana, the full kana book to teach you just hiragana and katakana, if you want to learn that way get them out of the way first. There's also the method of rote memorization where you just write the characters over and over and over and over and over again and hopefully they'll stick after, you know, writing them consistently. That's one method as well. Don't really recommend that. Another great way to study hiragana and katakana is through um, apps. The app store right now has a few apps that you can use to study hiragana or katakana. Some of them are free, some of them are, you know, you have to pay for. A lot of them are crap. And I say a lot of them are crap because um, they don't really provide you with, like, options for writing on the screen or whatever. I have found two apps in the past that actually teach you by writing and give you sample words that you can use to um, use these characters with which is absolutely fantastic, and actually this is how I learned katakana myself. I'm not sure if it's available on the iPod or iPhone yet, but I, I know they were available on the iPad, and they're kind of old, so I'm not sure if they're still on the App Store. I'm going to put the icons on the screen for you guys. These are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I would take my stylus and just trace over the characters on my iPad screen, and it really felt like I was writing the characters, and they were they were awesome. There was also games that came with those apps, so it wasn't just writing, um, it was actual interactivity, which I love. I love games. So if you can make learning a game, you'll really, really learn these characters. Another way is, again, if you're... Uh, I keep going back to George Trombley's Japanese from Zero series. He has a website, and on that website is learning games that you can use to help you study hiragana, katakana, kanji, vocabulary, different stuff like that. Now these games are tailored to the actual textbooks, so um, you may not know exactly what you're going to be studying. For example, if you click Lesson 1, I believe, for the hiragana book, or for the first book, which teaches hiragana, um, you're, gonna, you're just going to get a i u e o, and if you select lesson 2, it'll be a i u e o plus kakikuiko and gakikuiko. Don't really know. At least, they might have updated it. I'm not sure. Check that out. I'm going to put a link on the screen and in the comments, or in the description of this video. That's pretty much it for now, guys. You have to learn hiragana and katakana first before you really do anything with learning Japanese. A lot of textbooks, they just put, they just dedicate the whole first section of the book to learning hiragana and katakana first, and then they give you actual grammar and vocabulary and stuff like that. So it's absolutely necessary that you learn these. You do have to learn these. Do not use romaji. It's terrible. Guys, if you like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, put a comment down below, share it, do whatever. If you want to contact me or suggest any topics for future videos, just tweet me. 
or put a comment again below. Alright, signing off. Peace, guys.